I believe he is the Son of God. I believe he died and rose again. I believe he paid for us all. And I believe he is here now. Standing in our midst, you're with the power to heal now, and the grace to forgive. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 8, verses 40 to 56. Now, when Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. Just then there came a man named Zairus, a leader of the synagogue. He fell at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. For he had an only daughter, about twelve years old, who was dying. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to explain to you this twin miracle, and this is the miracle of faith. Now when Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed him. You know, whenever Jesus was going, people were pressing in on him to listen to the word of God. Just then there came a man named Zairus, the leader of the synagogue. Why did he come to Jesus? Because of his daughter. He tried his level best to save his daughter. No physicians could save his daughter. And you know the parents, how they are sad. Only daughter on deathbed. He's having everything, but he's going to lose his daughter. There are many parents who come and ask me, Father, my daughter is sick, my son is sick. And if they lose them, you know, the pain, it is very, very difficult. And this father, he wanted to save by all means his daughter. Went to all the physicians, they could not heal her. At last, somebody told Zairus, If you go to Jesus, and only Jesus can give her healing. Because Yehoshua, one who saves us, heals us from our sins, from our sicknesses. And Zairus decided to go to Jesus. He came to Jesus full of pain in his heart. He was troubled. Why? Because he's going to lose his daughter. He came in front of Jesus. He fell at his feet and begged him, Master, Rabbi, please come to my house. Please come to my house. For he had an only daughter about 12 years old who was dying. Jesus looked at the cry of the father. He comes to everyone's house, whether rich or poor. That doesn't matter. What matters is your faith, is your heart. Prayer. He started walking with Zairus. You know, the crowd was pressing in on him. Jesus, Zairus, disciples of Jesus, the Zairus disciples, all people were walking towards Zairus house. People, everybody was pressing in on him to see a miracle in that crowd. There are people go for retreats. 
Go for this type of gatherings to see only miracle who is healed. No, 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 no. We have to go to pray and to praise God. As he was going to Zyra's house, there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. And though she had spent all she had on physicians, Luke, being a physician, he writes, Jesus is the greatest physician, healer. She had this disease, hemorrhages. You know, the bleeding problem. Maybe the woman understands better. You know, continuous problem for 12 years. And what a painful condition. The situation. Depression. The stress that she is undergoing. Sleepless nights. She tried her level best, sold her property, put everything to the doctors, but could not succeed. She heard about Jesus and she decided, only Jesus can heal me. And that's why she was waiting for a day. And this was her day. As he went, the crowd pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. And though she had spent all she had on physicians, no one could cure her. No one could cure her. She came up behind him and touched the fringe of his clothes. This is very important. She decided, I want to touch that person. I want to touch. If I touch him 100%, I will get my healing. What a faith. I want to touch Jesus. Only one touch. Whether he touches me or not, secondary, I want to touch. Prayer is nothing but we are touching God. Heart of God. We are touching him. And she entered into the crowd. People were going to Zyra's house to see a miracle. And this lady to get a healing, get a miracle. And she entered into the crowd. I imagine like this. Maybe some people might have told her. They may be knowing about her disease. Do you think that you are going to be healed? Why you have come? There are people who will tell you. What is the use of going for retreat? What is the use of going for prayer meetings? No use. Don't listen to them. Be firm in your faith like this woman. And she entered. She wanted to touch. How? When? Where? He didn't know. She wanted to touch the Lord. She entered into the crowd. You know in Jewish society, there was no place for woman. Maybe it's the last place in the society. And it is not easy to go and touch a person. But she decided, I want to touch him. Faith is your decision. To be with the Lord. And for the Lord. She decided, I want to touch him. She entered in the crowd. Maybe some people, maybe people are pressing in on him. They might have told, why are you are pushing us? She started kneeling down and moving towards Jesus. And she reached at last the point where Jesus and his disciples. You know, she was trying to touch him. It was not possible. Maybe slowly she was going among their legs. And at last she could reach Jesus. Jesus was just walking forward. But she didn't give up. She touched his cloth. Fringe of his garment. And as she believed, the healer healed her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be on the bed. You may not be having churches to worship there. Now touch that Lord with the same faith of this woman. You know, Jesus was going. 
She touched the cloth garment of Jesus, fringe of the garment. She got healed. Two people came to know about this. One is Jesus, one, one is that woman. She told the healer, touch me, I need not go to Zaira's house now. Let me go back. She started going back. But Master Jesus stood there. All the crowd was still. He told, who touched me? I think Zairus might have come and told Lord, whoever touched you, come and inquire afterwards, please. My only daughter is on the bed, Lord. Please, Lord. Again he's asking, who touched me? You know, people all got frightened, maybe scared. He was walking and suddenly he's asking, who touched me? They might have touched, no? As they walk, they might have touched him. They told, no, 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 we have not touched, we have not touched, we have not touched. And our favorite disciple, Simon, he, Simon Peter said, Master, the crowd surround you and press in on you. But, crowd is surrounded and you pressing in on you. What a joke you are speaking. Who touched me? Peter, you do not know who touched me. There are many people who touch me. There are many people who touched me. But there is one person who touched me from our heart. One person touched me with faith. We go to church. Because we have to keep our Sunday. For that, do we go to church? Do we really pray from our heart? Do we really, really in faith touch God? Many are touching me, but one in faith, with faith. You don't know the healing power from me gone out. Multitude crowd, maybe you are attending a retreat. That's how the power from the Eucharist. As you preach, the power of the word flows in the blood cells, no bone and marrow. Praise the Lord. And when this woman heard, Healing power is gone from me. This person came to know. Now what to do? I can't go back. When the woman saw that she could not remain hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared in the presence of the people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. Lord, I have gone to all the doctors. I decided to touch you. And with this touch I was convinced that I am going to be healed. And as I touched you, I got healed from my hemorrhages. Twelve years I was suffering. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. There are thousands of people that are coming with me. No faith. And Jesus wanted her to witness so that others will experience that faith. Strengthen in their faith. Whenever you are healed, whenever you are touched, go and tell others. It will increase the faith of others and they will come to the Lord. While he was still speaking, someone came from the leader's house to say, Somebody came and said, Zairus, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any longer. What a feeling. This lady wasted my half an hour. Otherwise the Lord, the Master, Jesus would have come to my house and healed my daughter. Now she is dead. He could have done something if she is alive. But I think Zaira's faith also strengthened. This woman could come and touch and get healed. And what about this healer comes and touches my daughter. Even though she dies, she will get up. His faith increased. Jesus told Zaira's, fear not. Do not be afraid. Fear not. 
your daughter it says do not fear only believe and she will be saved even zairus have not seen the people are coming back from death but he believed when he came to the house he did not allow anyone to enter with him except peter john and james he asked people to stand out and the child's father and mother they were all weeping and wailing for her but he said do not weep for she is not dead but uh, sleeping and they laughed at him knowing that she was dead in the dictionary of jesus there is no word uh, death Jesus is life I am the way the life I am the truth and the resurrection So for him that is it is nothing it just going to the father I will show you I have the authority over the death I have come to give victory over death the sin and life belongs to me not the hate not the death but he went inside he took her by the hand he took her by hand and there is a fight now between kingdom of god and the kingdom of evil spiritual warfare a fight for devil and jesus he held her by hand and he cried loudly talitha kumi child get up as the voice of the healer the master the creator the life giver entered in the blood of the bone and marrow of that child immediately death left and she jumped up she stood up praise the lord he is the life giver rafa the healer he gave the child to the parents and he told give her something to eat Yes, my friends, today you are also waiting for the same healing and blessing in your life. Don't give up your faith. Be firm in your faith. Be firm in your prayer life. Even though tsunami comes in your faith, troubles, suffering may come in your faith. Do not give it up. Your prayer life and faith. Be firm, like Zairus, you pray. Like the woman who's the amorous, you pray. Touch the Lord. Touch Him in the Eucharist. Touch Him in the Word of God. Touch Him as you recite Rosary. Touch Him as you recite Mercy Rosary. Touch Him as you go for the prayer meetings. Don't give up. He will heal you. I am praying for all of you. Close your eyes. surrender all the parts of your body all the ailments and aches in your body from your head to foot let his precious blood flow let it touch come upon you lord almighty ever living god father you always listen to your servant i thank you thank you for this uh, wonderful preaching that you revealed through me living waters let this living water flow in every one of them as they have listened to these talks let the healing anointing and the deliverance take place in them i rebuke the bondages i rebuke the sicknesses i rebuke those unsolved problems i rebuke every pain and ailment that they are experiencing to go out in the name of jesus power of anointing come upon them touch heal deliver them lord in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth i pray amen amen and amen